Welcome to Zentangle Mini Project. Today's focus tangle in our focus flight series is C Knot by Valli Ganti. C Knot is a, an interesting Celtic knot kind of a tangle, and I can't wait to play with this. I am Sandhya Vanne, I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you not miss out on any videos that I post here throughout every Tuesdays and Fridays. Zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns. It teaches and focuses on being mindful and present. Zentangle requires no artistic skills. So for today's project, I'm working on a regular white square tile with my black pen, pencil and stub. So go grab your supplies. Let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here we are with our focus tangle for this week. Um, it's C knots. It's a beautiful tangle with a Celtic knot feel to it. And um, I have barely used, worked with this tangle. So I'm super excited to play with this today. Um, so we will be working with black zero one micron uh pn black micron or a zero eight black micron pencil stub and of course we are white square tile so um i i want to um start with a pencil um so we are going to okay let's see i'm going to make sure leave a little bit of a space and mark your borders okay so I am going to gently connect it again I'm not making uh, I'm making sure not to make my lines too dark um, so just something like that okay. so um so this tangle, it it uh, it has a uh, few elements, basic elements to it. So we're going to first place our um, basic elements, which are the dots or in the shape of a teardrop. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have my first one here and my second one somewhere here. And, and then one, two, three, four, again, five six so um sorry there are eight dots sorry about the count but i'm making sure i leave a bit of a space on the top and a bit of a space in the bottom and then i place my eight dots like this so it's a set of two like that okay so we're going to do the same thing here again i am going a slightly bit lower here and one two so we are going to place our set of eight dots on all four sides so make sure this is not too close we need to have that space okay so that's the that's the trick here make sure it's not too close it should not be touching each other but there should be enough space so we are um, Placing these dots evenly, spaced out. Okay, so I think I got I got them. Now I'm using my. Okay, let me just pick it up a little bit. Okay. So um, anyway, now let's get started with our uh, teardrops. Um, so that will make things much more easier. So there is a way we make these teardrops. So we're going to have this facing down like this and this facing down like this. And this one is going to be facing the upper dot, upper teardrop. And then this one is going to be facing down like this. So the smooth part is going to be facing each other like that and this is again going to be facing each other okay so these two dots face these two teardrops face each other and these two teardrops face each other so it's going to be like that okay so I'm going to go around doing this Okay. 
okay so we have our teardrops all set so now let's start connecting them so here's what we're going to do <clears throat> I am going to connect these two like this and these two like this okay and we are going to connect these two like this okay same thing so these two are like this okay so now I am going to start here and make an aura line that kind of goes like this and connects here okay so same thing start an aura line on this side and connect this Okay, so now that we have this, we're just going to connect them. So this this aura line, the outer aura line is going to match the teardrop that we did. And the teardrop here is going to match the outer aura, aura line that that's coming out there. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do that here. So, so here's what we have. Okay, so let's go around and repeat this on all of them. Okay, so here it is all done now we can do different things different uh, we can add different angles and kind of make uh, this section really intricate I've seen some um, tanglers make these two really close and uh, have these two come out so there are different ways we can do this uh, once you get comfortable there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of scope to play with this um, so I'm just going to go around adding some simple details um, this is where you can totally have uh, fun creating and adding your own twist to this this tangle here. Okay, so I've just I've just made a, a circle it's supposed to be in the center, and then uh, another circle that is kind of touching uh, all of that, uh, all of those teardrops right there. Okay, so I am again going around adding more circles to this. and we're adding black in those tiny gaps okay and I'm giving an aura line like this and I am now going to pull out the lines from the circle out like this Like I said, we can do different things here and I'm just going to go around adding um, a little weight at the end.
Okay, so I've gone around, added the lines, and I have um, given a little bit of a depth at the end, uh, or rather weight at the end. Right, so now uh, inside these teardrops also, um, like if you're using colors, you can add different colors to make it look more interesting, but I'm going to stick to black and white. So I'm using my thicker tip pen and going around. I'm leaving a little teeny, I'm leaving a teeny tiny bit of white to show the highlight. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this on the other three. So again, take your time to do this. It's extremely zen. Um, it's rainy here today. Uh, outside my studio, I can hear the raindrops and it's just extremely zen to just go quiet and follow the lines and just, just create. So take your time to do this. And I am going to go slow with my lines as well. Okay, so here it is. I like the way it's turned out. So um, we can add some fun details um, around. So I'm going to go around and uh, add something inside. So first, uh, I want to use my pencil to make a circle. So we're just randomly making a circle. Okay. Now inside this circle, I, I want to add... Um, I want to do this tangle called spiral rose. So, so for this for this tangle, we need to first make a spiral. So I am going around to make a spiral, something like this. Okay, maybe like this. So ignore this part. Um, 
so spiral rows goes like this we start here and we make a flux we start here we make another flux okay so I'm, I'm going around making flux and the size of my flux is also kind of increasing Okay, so I'm continuing on this. Okay, so this was our line. Okay, so um, inside of this space that we have, inside of the, the spiral, we can either add um, tiny circles or we can fill it up with solid black. So I'm not sure how this is going to be, so I am going to start off with circles and see how that looks. And if I don't like it, I can always add black on it. looks good um, let's see let's go one other layer okay so I'm also going to add um, a line and a dot inside of the flux. Okay, I think I like it, but I'm not sure. We can always add black at any point of time. So I'm, I'm going to finish the rest and then take a call. Okay, so we're done with spiral rows. Now we have these um, four corners here and these two corners as well. So you can leave it at, at any point of time. This, this almost looks complete. But over here, I'm going to go around adding flora. 
so this is a tangle called flora so i go around adding a half circle and an aura line to that and i pull out three lines like this and we are kind of making our petals like this okay so just going back and adding black okay and you can either add just one line and a circle on top or you can add a bunch of oops like that so that's totally fine so this is diwali season here and we burst firecrackers so that kids out bursting firecrackers are to be okay so i'm going to repeat this okay so i love this i like the way it's turned out now quickly let's get to the borders i like the way the henna drum looks it's just beautiful so at the borders here i am um, going to do this um you know on second thoughts i am going to leave it as is it looks um so since I started off here, I'm just going to do something to add my initials and we shall uh, use it for that. So now let's get to shading. Okay. So I'm going to go around adding my pencil here along the Hina drum. And we're also going to extend the shading here along this line. So around spiral rows. So that's where I want the pencil to be. Okay, and then I also want to kind of go around adding my pencil here inside of this. Okay, so we're just blending this. So pretty much I'm I'm using this as color gray. We're not really blending anything, but just so whatever is left off on my stub. I'm just going to use that just here, tiny, tiny bit, right at the end of the flux. Okay, and So around this, so I'm just going to go around adding my. So I'm just going around adding my pencil here, and we will have to. We're just blending this out like that, 
and over here I'm going to make sure that I show that the, the lines are going under and over so that creates a nice effect Okay, so I'm going to go around doing that. Now I'm having second thoughts on this. I think I should just go in and add black. Um, so let's see, let's see how we can add that. Okay, so here it's all done. Now I am going to go ahead and add black. Sorry about that, making you do the circles first, but yeah, this is how we roll. Okay, so take your time, go around adding the black. Okay, so this looks fun. I like the way this has turned out. So let's get to our initials. And so I'm just gonna make it something like this, make it a bit more interesting here. And let's see. So I'm just going to add my initials here like that. Okay, so now let's journal this. Um, today's date is 5th of November 2021, and this is focus flight with our focus tangle um, C knots, and then we did. Um, Spiral rows and we did henna drum. Okay, so those were the tangles that we did, and I like that it looks really decorative and really pretty. Hope you had fun on this project with me. I would love to see your creations, so head on to our Facebook group Zenbees where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works by other Zenbees. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Manne or hashtag Tangle with Sandhya to get to see your lovely works there and I will stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, check out my website www.sandhyamannestudio.com for workshops, courses and memberships. To receive uh, weekly inspirations, occasional free gifts, updates on my upcoming work workshops, projects and other cool things that I do across social media, sign up on the link, Tangle Organizer. It's time to comment now, so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also, it's time to share some love, so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I shall see you next on Tuesday in our String Safari series. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.